All right, folks. Welcome back to uh, another episode of Let's Play Station Ears. This one's going to be a little bit different. Uh, I don't really have a planned project. I'm just going to kind of wing it and see what happens. I do know that uh, I want to get um, more filtration systems for our atmospherics farm. And probably do some more organizing because we're running out of storage space here. First and foremost, though, I need to do some mining, and before I do that, a keen-eyed viewer uh, informed me that I was using the Mark II mining drill. And the Mark II tools are actually intended for high-temperature, high-pressure environments, like Venus, for example. So what I need to do, I need to build the heavy mining drill. What I had noticed was that the Mark II was a, a little underwhelming. I thought maybe something was wrong there, but I didn't realize the Mark, tool, Mark II tools were really a thing. Let's grab some materials we need. Uh, what do we need here? Steel, Electrum, Invar, and solder. You're just out of storage space. Another thing we might look into is uh, getting our recycling set up. We're getting quite the uh, quite the landfill there. Our uh, fuck it bucket runneth over. But to start things off, I know I'm going to need more. Well, I have some copper. I'm gonna I'm gonna need more steel, more gold. Let me grab more iron too. And probably more copper, because well, we're going to need it. Let's go mining. Okay, coming back for our first mining trip. Uh, got a bunch of lead and a bunch of gold. Mainly got the gold and the, or the lead and the nickel just because I came across it, so I thought I'd grab it. I have a drink. I need to get a couple more CO2 filters for the suit too.
will store this lead in uh, nickel. really need those yet. Go ahead and cook up this uh, gold in the little copper we found. That's enough gold to do us for a little bit, maybe. Probably grab some more, though. So the waste tank is almost full. Let's go in here. Take a look at our waste tank. Waste tank critical. You can see that it's uh it's just CO2 and O2 and uh plant site CO2. other than just CO2 and O2. And we didn't overpressurize anything, so that's good. Before we go back out mining, I should probably get more water. enough coal and iron to make up a big old batch of steel. That. Chuck that in there and then uh, let's go have a drink before we die.
day. Let's go ahead and cook this up. And that down first. Mostly. Solar system seems to be working pretty well. Gonna need more solar panels before long, though. going to be a large batch of steel. I miss.
seem to get the mix right. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's not sketchy or anything. So let's think about what we want to do with this, uh, this new resources. I think we need to get the rest of our atmospheric plant built. Gold and copper in here. Maybe do a bit of a cut here so you don't have to wait on me to build all these parts. So, uh, while I'm gathering these parts, I've uh, gotten smart. Built a stacker, set it to 999, so it'll do the max stack size for whatever. So, I'm going to need a lot of pipes and other things like that. And uh, also, Got some lockers here. So I think what we're gonna do while we're making pipes, we're gonna set up a locker to store some of this stuff. I think we're gonna start with a locker over here. This is gonna be all of our power related and maybe our electronic stuff is gonna go. In the meantime, see what we got. Well, that's about it for now. But we'll have more. I think we'll take this extra battery. put it over there too. I think we're going to have a uh, cabinet for our atmospheric stuff too. For now I think we'll put it here. that somehow weird well, we'll worry about that later I have a parts list for what I'm gonna need that so uh, yeah, we'll keep making these and I'll go over all the parts before we start building but for now there are more things to store
And I think our atmospheric's color is going to be yellow, so... we need. We'll let it go ahead and get another full stack. Hydration critical. And we'll revisit here in a few. Okay, we have our parts now. Uh, I've added another stacker here, although that's kind of in the way. That was to help manage all the cable that I had to print. And there was a bunch. That's currently living there. We have our parts. Uh, essentially what we're trying to do here, there are six gases. We have one set up for the oxygen. We're going to repeat this for the other five. So we got five atmospheric kits that we'll use for filtration. Five pressure regulators, five pipe meters, and five tanks. We do need to get five more of these tank uh, holders though. So maybe we'll go ahead and do that. Also got uh, all the paints we need to color code this according to the uh, color code system that we've been using. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a, another link in the video description to the Steam guide for that. Oh, and we also have our filters for each of the five gases. Okay, I think that's everything. Probably either speed this up or use a jump cut. But uh, yeah, this is the model, and the rest will be just like it. Let's get started on that.
maybe a little strange to do the wiring first, but uh, I wanted to be able to make sure I had that all in place so I could cover it up. And I think we're ready to seal these back up. Our first system is going to be nitrogen.
right. Seems to be working. Carry on with the wrist. I think, in fact, I may go ahead and do the rest of this wire. The next one will be CO2. Turn that in black. Working nice. Okay, next up is uh, nitrous oxide. In this case, nitrous oxide uses the brown. will be pollutants and the pollutants are using gray so pollutants are not the most useful gas available but they do have their use so we do retain them and because it's sort of a quick catch-all they're just called X.
Last are the volatiles, primarily hydrogen. Looks pretty good. Here we go. Now we have a little bit of pipe from each color, so we can easily create more of the same color. All looking pretty good. So that's a pretty good basic uh, atmospherics plant and from these pipes overhead we can pull more you know if we need uh, oxygen somewhere we can run a line from there to wherever I think that's uh that's pretty good and we've got some organization here we've got our electrical cabinet here storage for electrical parts storage for atmosphere, atmospheric parts and just sort of general construction storage here yeah That's pretty good. Jetpack critical. There we go. Now we can refill our jetpack from there. Gonna want to bring our water storage into this too. But we're gonna have to rethink how we manage the water temperatures. That might be something for the future. Our power production is maybe a little lacking. It's, uh, after afternoon, and uh, yeah, we're not uh, seeing the charge levels we'd like. One more thing I would like to add for future use.
Okay. This uh, pipe analyzer will let us have a, a peek at whatever is inside this waistline. And right now, nothing. Future. I'm going to want to uh, automate this so that these filters aren't running all the time. The real point in using that power when there's nothing in the tank to be filtered out. There we go. That'll save us a little power for for now. To turn those back on once we've got some stuff in our waste tank. I imagine all of this is new. It's below the required pressure. Tear all this down too. Might go ahead and do that. Nice. I think it's uh, probably a good place to call it there. Maybe we'll uh, think about what we want to do in the future, what our next move is going to be. We'll uh, further automate this, or maybe rethink our manufacturing area, which is getting a little crowded. Probably need to fold this all into our atmospherics. But for now, I think that's a good place to call it. Appreciate you hanging out. Suggestions, comments, any sort of observations, certainly welcome. Love to hear from you. And meanwhile, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.